I was actually just walking by the mission here, heading down to the river, when I noticed this little path, there's some stone steps and a handrail right here. And I know there's a creek down in this area, so let's go explore a creek. I mean, this is modern, but these, these steps down here look like they could be from the old mission days. Maybe not, these kind of look like railroad ties. But, I mean, there's got to be a reason there's steps and a handrail there. Like, somebody comes down here. There's actually a pit dug right here with... Maybe, there, maybe it's a fire pit or something. I don't know. An old one, anyway. And yep, look, there's a creek right here. This might be too shallow to fish. But somebody definitely comes walking around down in here. Wow, it actually looks like asphalt at the bottom of the creek. It's so clear. That might actually be asphalt. I was on my way to the river to uh, test out this new rod I got. It's just a Daiwa Laguna, nothing special. But it's a spinning rod. Most of them are bait casters. Uh, I'm not sure what I want to tie on it. I gotta touch the bottom here. This bottom, this look, this really looks like asphalt, but it's all shells. Oh yeah, it's all it's just shells and gravel, it's soft, but it looks like asphalt. There might be some fish up that way. Nothing's gonna be right here. Maybe over here by these down trees. Now I do know there are definitely fish in this creek because this creek is actually a branch of the river that comes over this way. And I've seen, I've fished this creek, but up there under the bridge where it forks away from the river. So I've seen carp and plenty of bass and stuff up in that area. So, but I've never been in this section of it. Kind of curious, I'm really curious what the, why those steps and handrail are up there. There are fishable parts of this creek, just not in this stretch. So, right back up that way is the steps and the handrails. This is that pit I was pointing out. Now that I'm looking at it, there's actually a line of rocks around it that way. So it almost looks like a campfire pit, like an like a organized campfire pit, not like a hobo campfire or something. Trail does keep going this way. Like it looked like somebody set up a benches made out of stones. There's a handful of these bridges all through it. I usually, it the paved trail goes. Oh look, there's a cat right there. Thought maybe he was dead there for a second, but he's breathing. I don't know if the camera can see him, but that is a big fat cat just hanging out right there. He doesn't care about anything. Anyway, the paved trail forks. One of them goes down to the main river where there's a footbridge over the river. And then this one comes this way. And there's a couple of observation decks, apparently, like this, with benches on them where you can look down, sit in nature. Which, I mean, this isn't a bad little spot. I mean, not really fishable, but... I mean, if you wanted to have a picnic or something, this is great. That, that might hold a fish. I don't know. Don't wanna, you know what? Let's give it a shot. Didn't want to, but then it'd be kind of pointless to walk around through all this and not try to catch a fish anywhere. Oh, there is a fish there. Oh, he slipped off though, but that was a, I don't know if the camera saw that. The camera probably did not see that. That was a, probably about a one pound bass. 
I had my camera pointed up, unfortunately. Oh, there's another one. Sunfish blew up on it as soon as it hit. And I tried to set the hook and he came flying up on me. And now he's tangled in the tree. <laughs> two casts, two fish. Now I wonder if, if I drop him back down there, if a fish will blow up on him. Yeah. <laughs> I thought this spot might hold a fish and it's uh, so far it's held two. And actually there's a nice looking snake over there, water snake. Gotta go under this vine that's covered in spider webs. Oh. That looked more like a koi than a carp. Okay, so I brought two rods and I wasn't sure what I was gonna throw on the other one because I think the swim baits are the way to go today, so that's what I wanna throw. And I just thought of what I'm gonna do. I didn't want to put the same bait on both rods. Uh, even though I'm kind of going to do that anyway. What I'm going to do is, since this one's a lighter rod with lighter line, I'm going to put a lighter jig head on it with a 2-inch swim bait. And the other one's a heavier rod with heavier line, so I'm going to put a heavier jig head with a 3-inch swim bait. And it doesn't sound like there's a big difference between those two, but there is a huge difference between the 2 and the 3-inch. As you can see how tiny this one is, this is the 2-inch. And then I've got, that's a 1 16th jig head, which are these, and I've got some 1 8th jig heads. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to see what does better today. Smaller profile or slightly larger small profile. And the swim baits I'm using are actually going to be the same color, sort of. I mean, this one's bigger, but it's, in some reason, it's a little darker, but they're the same color. Alright, now that I'm tied on, I'm going to move up and find a different spot. Try the small one, too. I mean, if I caught a little sunfish on the 3-inch, probably tear it up on the 2-inch. But I've also caught some big bass on the 2-inch as well. And I don't know if I can get back up this hill. the tree root and oh, there we go it's not so bad walking around in this creek it's nice and shady I was not intending to do any creek fishing today just like the other day I wasn't intending to do any river fishing and I ended up doing that anyway that was kind of cool I mean I've never been through this little stretch it's an older trail this, yeah, it, see right here, it, this is the older original trail, and then this was all added on later. This goes down to the river after they, after they uh, redid the, most of the river walk and the Mission Reach and all that. They remodeled it years ago, so this is all the newer part. When I was a kid, none of this stuff was here. It would have just been that one, which looks like it explores the, the woods around the Mission here, which, I mean, that's kind of cool. I never, never did see that when I was a kid. You know what, now that I'm looking at it, I can see this whole thing is man-made. Like there's, there's things in it that make it like rapids. And they're the same things that are across the kayak chutes. And on top of that, over there, you probably can't see it, but it's been knocked down. There's a big blue uh, marker thing that it, there, those things are next to all the kayak loading areas. So, I wonder if this was meant for people to be able to kayak through, even though there's nowhere to load in on that end. Because I, I just walked the entire length of the creek pretty much from where, where it starts to here. So, that's interesting. Because that's, that's made the same way the kayak chutes are. And they've got like a metal or a rubber thing across the middle to make bumps. Anyone who knows me, knows that every time I go fishing, I forget my polarized glasses. And, well, today, I remembered them. Well, let me make sure they're in here before I speak too soon. 
Where did they go? I know they're in here. That'll help me with the sun and the and seeing into the water. Water is not clear at all. It is all murky and muddy. Oh, and I got a fish already. Oh, that's a good one. What is that? Didn't look like a bass at first. It looked silver. <laughs> it's a nice quad. I was just commenting. I was worried they, they wouldn't be able to see the bait. And there we go. Nice quad. And if you know my channel, I always say quads don't get very big. So, there we go. I should have taken a picture of him. Oh. Oh! <laughs> that was funny. I thought it was a bass or something, so I tried to set the hook. And the fish came flying out of the water. It was a nice sized sunfish, probably about seven eight inches the sunfish flew this way my bait flew this way so he wasn't even actually hooked on he just came flying out with it this is weird somebody's been cutting down the trees here i was just coming because it looked like a path to get down here and they've made something out of the tree out of the trees that they cut down i guess they made it's supposed to be a bridge or something must be to keep them out of the mud. I don't know. There we go. First fish landed on this rod is a bass. It's a little spotted bass, but it's a bass. There we go. Okay, there's a fish. Feels good. Felt good. Just a little one. It's even smaller than the one I caught earlier. Ow. Why did he feel like he was so huge? A little guad. Like seriously, he put some bend in the rod and stiffened up the reel. That was crazy. Well, I am on the other side of the river from where I was, parked over there, and this up here, this goes, there's a trail through the woods following us. This is actually the aqueduct. This is actually... I mean, it looks like a natural little creek and everything. I've got a little bass. I did not think there was actually any bass in here. Well, no. Yeah, I didn't know there was bass in here, but very rare that you see any bass in here, at least in this area. Tiny little largemouth, actually. Uh, but yeah, this runs this way, goes under the road, goes down. This goes all the way to the aqueduct area. This is part of the Asakea, the irrigation canals. Oh, got another bass. As soon as I hit the water, oh, but he slipped off right there. He went under a branch. Okay. He slipped. He took it as soon as it hit the water. That was pretty crazy. So there's a good amount of fish in here. That was actually uh, probably about twice as big as the one I just caught. I mean, it's still pretty small, but considerably bigger and I might lose my bait there somebody broke this it was nailed to a tree or something something 
Chauffeur Alley. Spiner Alley. I don't know. Some kind of alley, which some some kids just made that because this is all city property through here. It's not it's not anybody's private driveway or anything like that. In fact, if you follow it long enough, you'll though you'll come across some uh, bridges that cross over the creek into the cemetery. So on this side of the creek is mostly a spot of park, and then on that side of the creek is the cemetery. At least back over that way. Uh, so I'm gonna, I just had two baths right there at the road at the entrance. So this wasn't supposed to be a creek exploring, exploring video, but it's gonna be now. I started off exploring a creek, even though I didn't really intend to. And then I'm gonna end up finishing it exploring a creek. Oh, there's a couple of bass right there. Two bass. I don't think I've ever seen so many bass in here. Come on, get off there. It's already four. Had a little bass chase it right there. Spooked him. Oh, no, he's on. He's on. Thought he spooked him away, but then he came back for it. And he's a little bit. This is actually the biggest bass of the day, I think. Slipped right off. There you go. There we go. That's interesting. Now I gotta get him out there to the deeper part where he doesn't hit the bottom over here. He comes back over this way, he's good. When I was a kid, we thought we were being rebels because we would go off the main bike trails and just ride through here. Everybody thought you weren't allowed to come through here. But, uh, that's just the way kids think. Also, an uh, interesting update. Uh, a while back I did that food chain challenge video where I was trying to catch a small fish and went up bigger and bigger from there. But anyway, part of that when I was walking around the trails, I came across some some hog tracks and where they were, uh, what's it called when they're rooting everything up. And, but, you know, I saw all that evidence of hogs out there. And anyway, yesterday a news article came out saying that People were calling the police, reported seeing bear, a bear out there, or a feral hog or something. And the cops got there, and it turned out, it, well, obviously it wasn't a bear, because we don't have bears in this part of the state. But they, it would have made sense for it to be a feral hog, like I expected. But it wasn't. It was actually uh, somebody's pet pot-bellied pig that I don't know where it, where it came from but the cops just said to let it be come across it leave it there leave it alone it's not gonna hurt it's not harmful it's a pot-bellied pig it's like a dog so but it was a pretty big one out there so that's probably and I mean it's it, I could see people thinking that's a feral hog because I mean they're both pigs but pot belly pigs are a little bit different, a little more docile. And uh, yeah, so it must have been pretty big though for people to think it was a bear. And uh, yeah, so the cop said if you come across it, just leave him alone, don't, bother, don't worry about it. But if you do actually see a bear to call and report it. Because yeah, bears aren't supposed to be around here. But apparently pot belly pigs are. That doesn't make sense either, but. I guess they're just more acceptable. All right, so I tried to take this video in a different direction that didn't quite work out. So cut a couple of small fish out of the creek over there, but it just got too shallow after that. And so I'm heading back to the river. Nice well-beaten path over here. But leads to a couple of nice little looking spots 
And this is a nice stretch. There's a mouth of a creek over there. There actually is a fish. <laughs> it was snagged and then he popped it as soon as, or he got it as, when it came off the snag. Here we go. Another little fish. Got one. Come on. Nice squad. There we go. Get another one. Right, I'm gonna finish up my day over here at this little dam thing. I can actually walk all the way across it if I wanted to. In fact, I might. Of course I snapped off and I don't feel like retying on the three inch so I'm only gonna be throwing the two inch. Should be there should be water flowing through this over the top of the dam down this way. But there's not. And it goes through the kayak chute, but the kayak chute just goes into a pool that dead ends over there. So if you go down that kayak chute, you're not going anywhere. At least in a kayak. snapped off on the hook set. That sucks. That sucks so bad. I was kind of hoping my other bait would be hanging out of his mouth, but it's not. So, here we go. There we go. Little bass. Got one. Another little one. There we go. Well, there you have it. Uh, started off here, went down the trail that way, crossed the river, came all the way back up this way. Pretty far that way, actually. Came back, did a nice big loop, 
Uh, I didn't even keep track of how many fish I caught. But I think I did alright. Explored a little bit of some creeks too. So, wasn't too much of a point to this video, just other than to get out and catch some fish since I had the chance. And starting a new job next week, so I'm not sure when I'll have the chance to again. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.